All right, stepsons, I bet you're glad when you turn on the water in your house on the hot side, and probably particularly when you're getting in the shower, that it actually comes out hot. Well, we're going to show you in this episode why that is, and particularly we're going to look at the natural gas system that is most common in most houses in North America. So out here is where the gas comes into your house. This is where the gas comes in from the city or from your supplier in through the meter and into the house. So this is the, where the gas main in goes into the house. It's important to know where this is because if you had a leak, you would want to come out here to shut it off. In this case, that valve right there is the main shut off for it. You can see there's two little holes if you look at this. If the gas, if you didn't pay your bill for some reason, you can come, they'll turn this off and they put a lock through that so that you can't get gas until you pay your bill. Or for safety reasons as well. If they're gonna disassemble this, then that would be a safety check as well so that you can't open it and just vent natural gas, which is flammable. If you put a match to it, it would light up. And if you get a whole bunch in one, it's gonna explode. So this is why it's important. But this is the main inlet of the gas, of natural gas to your house. They do meter it, so that's how you know how much you use, and that's how they determine the billing amounts for what you pay for as well, too. Now let's go inside and see where it comes into by the utilities that use natural gas. When the gas comes from the outside meter that we looked at, it comes in through this pipe here, and that's the, I guess that'd be the gas main in, and there, it tees down to this one. So these are two appliances that are common in most houses. The one is the furnace, and you'll be glad you have one of those because that keeps you warm. The other one is the water heater. We looked at that a little bit in the, in the home plumbing overview and when we shut the water sprinkler off. One of the things about a natural gas system is the pipes they use for natural gas typically are black pipe. So that's one visual clue that you can see that that's part of the natural gas system. You'll notice it's shut off here. If I turn this, I've shut the gas off to the furnace. If the thermostat kicks it on, it's not going to start because there's no gas going to the burner. So I'm going to leave that on. But just like the water shut off, that's the gas shut off. So there's a local shut off for that. If you got an older house, it may not have local shut offs. That's why we showed you where to shut it off for the whole house. In the case you needed to shut it off for some reason, if you smell natural gas in your house, don't light a match, go shut off the valve and, and vent the windows. That's what you're going to want to do. This one goes over the water heater. The water heater is also a unit that has a burner. That's where you get the water, the hot water in your house. So the gas coming into the water heater comes in through this pipe, through the thermostat control, and this is a thermostat here. You set the temperature of how hot you want the water. I'm going to set it down to pilot for now, but when you turn this knob off, that shuts the gas off and the burner will not run because it has nothing to burn underneath there. If you needed to start a water heater, in other words, if the flame was out and you were restarting, there's some things you're going to go through. I'm going to show you on ours how you would do that. And this relates to the natural gas coming into the house. Furnace uses it, some dryers use it, water heaters use it. Some stoves use it, and if you have a gas fireplace, those would be the things through your house that would use it. Just about every house has a, a natural gas water heater. Don't do this if you don't know what you're doing, but I do want to show you the process so you can understand that and at least be aware and conversant with what's going on with this. First thing you're going to do if you had to start one is right now the gas is off here, so there's no gas coming in. It's also off at this thermostat. There's different types of thermostats on water heaters. So this is, I'm showing you what we have. Uh, you'll probably have a label just like this on your water heater that will give you the details for your specific one. Behind this plate is where the burner is. So I'm going to take this off. And now there's a secondary plate right here that on, on ours it slides out of the way. And I'm going to slide that. There we go. Slide that out of the way. Now, if I'm down here, one of the things I'm gonna do is sniff for any natural gas. They put an odor in the natural gas so that you can smell it if it's leaking. 
it's flammable. That's what's burning. It's like having a barbecue in your house. You've got to be really careful because there's a potential for fire. There is fire, but where it's contained, that works nicely. If it gets out of control, then you've got a problem and you don't want to, you don't want to have a house fire. So I'm not smelling any in here. I know it's off here. I know it's off here. The process for starting this one, a lot of them will have a button on it that you push the button and it has an igniter inside that will actually put the spark in and light the pilot. Ours doesn't, so I need a lighter to light ours. So with this in the off position, I'm gonna open the gas to the line. So now the gas is flowing up to here, but it's not going past here. I'm gonna turn this to pilot and it's still not flowing until I let it down. And right in here, where the pilot is, I light that and there's a little flame in there. Okay, so the silver line is the pilot line. On the thermostat, I'm going to turn it to pilot setting and push down and hold this there and it should, oh. And when I push down, it lets enough through. Now the test is, I'm, I let off of the pilot button and it needs to stay lit. And if it stays lit, then I'm okay to turn the switch to on. So when it's on pilot, it's gonna let a little bit of natural gas through, but not all of it. You push it down to start it, and when you let go of it, if it stays on, you're good, and then you turn it to the on position. So now it's got enough gas to run the whole burner. But the thermostat setting is still set at pilot. So if you look in the burner, I'm gonna turn this to on. This is actually peeking through with the camera behind the panel on the water heater to show you. This is how the gas actually heats the water. So when you turn the knob and you get hot water, it's because it's been heated like in a big stove, which is your water heater, a big tank that gets heated with natural gas in most cases. They do make electric water heaters, but most houses are natural gas and it generally is more efficient and more cost effective. And that is the temperature we like to set it at. And so we should be good to go. So these two appliances are the main appliances that just about every house has that use natural gas. There could be some others. Remember, natural gas is flammable. That's why it's burning. So you've got to be careful if you're using it. And that's why I want you to understand where it comes in from your house that we showed you on the outside, how it comes through. You've got local shutoffs. If you ever needed to shut those off, you could. Don't do it unless you need to. But now you've seen some of how that works. So hopefully you've learned a few things in this video. But always remember the two lessons I want you to get from everyone. Number one, you can succeed even though your dad may not be in your daily life. And number two, Always remember your stepdad loves you. I'll see you on the next video. that off oh I shouldn't have done that <laughs> now I gotta start the pilot again let me turn that off and turn this off this is let's see I, I need to think through the script on this a little bit because I want to make sure that the cautions are there now let's go inside did you stop it no. oh <laughs>